Hello, my name is Willie Williams, director of the Urban Broadcast News Network. The video presentation you are about to watch is a preview into the future of the Urban League of San Diego County. It is a reflection of your thoughts personified. Now I stand here reminded of our past, the struggles we all have endured to get where we are today. The Urban League of San Diego County is a strong organization and will continue to be for years to come. Board members like yourselves committed to the Urban League of San Diego County inspired newcomers like myself. So sit back, enjoy a trip into our present day future, the new Urban League of San Diego County. What, what made it feel so much more Primarily um, what it was doing for youth. I was in, you know, engaging with the youth, having, having a child of my own, um, wanting him to have accessibility to everything related to the community um, fairly and have a, an opportunity for equal education, even if you're in an at-risk area. That's extremely important, not only to me as a, as a business owner, but a mother. And I think it's necessary for everybody to contribute to their communities if they're going to live there. And the Urban League seemed to be spot on. They needed some help, as I said, during the time because they were trying to get people to engage. And I found that in living here, a lot of people didn't even know that the Urban League um, existed and what it was about. So it was time for me to get on board and, and sort of spread the word. I think the most important things we've seen is that over the last two years, uh, we have a new board chair, Al Abdallah, who really has taken the reins of the organization, along with our new CEO, Ray King. Uh, we've grown the board capacity. We've brought on people who truly are dedicated to the movement of the Urban League and understand that we serve a very critical role. What Al, our board chair, has really helped us to do is to ground the organization. He, in effect, has broken it up and rebuilt it, and we've taken it back to basics. I think the most important thing that we've done recently and really under the, the leadership of Al is to look at the board governance. Why is it that, that we have the Urban League? What is it that the board is supposed to do? And how does the board govern itself and how do we oversee the organization? You know, there was a time when I thought the future was pretty bleak because I, I couldn't see how we were changing the culture of the Urban League. With our new CEO coming from the private sector, and I actually work in the private sector, I think our future is very bright. Uh, the culture is being changed, as I said earlier. Uh, we're fee for service. We're being run like a business. We are actually um, running the, the, the business profitably. We no longer deficit spend. We ask the critical questions prior to spending the money. Is this worth it? Are we going to actually generate a profit by hosting this event? And if we're not, we're not gonna do it. PX2 and the Pacific Institute has taken San Diego by storm through a partnership with the Urban League of San Diego County and the Unified School District, PX2 workshops are in high demand. Hoover High School was chosen as the pilot school for the PX2 program and in just three short months have had tremendous response. I think PX2 is a very good program and it teaches you guys about us as well as you guys teach us. It allowed me to see my future clearly. Um, I already had a conception, but now with this, thanks to this program, I can see it as a, I can see it in my future as not, as probably as, not as probably, but as it will be. One of the things I've really seen is a refocus on the programs and really re-emphasis on the Urban League really providing good, sustainable programs to the community. So one of the great things is, especially with the whole foreclosure crisis, is being able to provide foreclosure assistance, being able to provide training to really kind of understand what is going on in the market and how to ensure that people can keep their homes. Another thing that um, they've really kind of focused on is when it comes to employment training and really being able to be out there in the community and be that point 
person for people within the Urban League community. Um, and I would say finally youth programs, really being able to provide youth programs that are not just the typical after school type programs, but programs where the students can really start learning about those various career paths that are out there that focus on science and technology because that's really where the future is nowadays and we need to be able to bring our students so that they can take advantage of what's out there. The challenge when working with AP students at Hoover High was getting them to understand that none of what was being facilitated had very little to do with their intelligence. We're learning about things like opening up our minds. And although um, I think I have actually like, you know, even though I'm a person and I think I know everything, I don't usually, because I remember we did that little, we did this dot problem thing. And we're supposed to think outside the box and I didn't get it correctly. Like I thought I did, I did it right, but I didn't completely get all the dots. It's a very good experience. Uh, it's just been like a time for me to see, like to actually understand myself and my personality, how, how I am, or how I've been taught to think and how the mind works and how um, I can challenge myself and think outside the box and do stuff that I've never done. And I can just be open about it. The program is like, basically I feel like kind of like enlightened with the mind kind of, basically, because it basically opens our minds, challenges, challenges us to do multiple things at once, you know. It basically it's just like eases, eases our brain up, kind of, and just makes us think in a way we've never thought before. Just use it to be aware of what's going on around us and the environment, I guess. Attitude determines your what? Say it, say it loud. <coughs> Attitude determines your altitude. The Urban Broadcast News Network presents an Urban Youth News Brief, sponsored by the U.S. Navy. The Urban League of San Diego County celebrated the 19th Annual Golden Pyramid Scholar Awards. The event was held at the Spreckles, Oregon Pavilion in Balboa Park. Over 3,000 parents and students were on hand to take part at this spectacular event. The Urban League of San Diego County and the Pacific Institute of Seattle, Washington partnered with the San Diego Unified School District and the Tend to Succeed program. The program addresses the high school dropout rate among blacks and Latino students between grades 9 through 12. Kanisha Mitchell attends Point Loma High during the regular school year. She had this to say about PX2. PX2 has helped me to actually feel better about myself because every time I leave from here I feel positive and I feel like good. I want to tell my grandma everything I learned and how um, tell her, you know, what she doing wrong. <laughs> and, um, it helps me. It helps me to like and keep encouraging myself that I'm able to do it, no matter what nobody says, no matter what I go through. That it's possible. Anything is possible if I make a goal. You start thinking negative, then you'll start to believe because it's your brain. You know, like it's, it's your mind, and that's basically like the root of everything you do. Your mind. With the advent of the Pacific Institute and the PX2 program into the San Diego Unified School District, America's finest city has taken a large step towards a better San Diego. Our invitation would be expand and explode. What I learned is that when you tell yourself something, you have to want to do it for it to be done. When you feel that you have to do something, it becomes somewhat of a problem because your subconscious gets in the way of the task. It is easy for a person to do something if that's what the person loves to do. Nobody can tell them they can't do it or don't do it because that's something they choose to do. When you talk to yourself, you have to tell yourself you want to do it, not I have to. So therefore, I have to tell myself I want to get a good grade. I want to graduate. Not, I have to, for whatever reason. I want to prove myself to myself. I want to reach my goal and keep moving forward. I want to be the best, and I am.